Hello, today I'm going to talk about Maurice Corno. So, let's start. Maurice Corno is an American psychicist known for the Corno map, also known as the K map, a method to simplify Boolean algebra expressions. In mathematics and mathematical logic, Boolean algebra is the sub area of algebra in which the values of the variables are the truth values, true and false, usually denoted 1 and 0 respectively. It has been fundamental in the development of digital electronics and is provided for in all modern programming languages. It is also used in set theory and statistics. He is born in New York City. He studied mathematics and physics at City College of New York from 1944 to 1948 and transferred to Yale University to complete his BSc degree in 1949. His MSc degree in 1950 and received his PhD in physics in 1952, with a thesis on the, the theory of magnetic resonance and lambda type doubling in nitric oxide. He worked at Bell Labs from 1952 to 1966, developing the corner map in 1954. He also developed patents for postcode modulation encoding. PSM coding is a standard form of digital audio in computers, compact disks digital telephony and other digital audio applications. He also developed magnetic logic circuits and coding. From 1966 to 1970, he worked at IBM's Federal Systems Divisions in Gatesburg, Maryland, and at the IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights, New York from 1970 to 1989 studying multi-stage interconnection networks, a class of high-speed computer networks usually composed of processing elements on, on one end of the network and memory elements, on the other end connected by switching elements. The switching elements themselves are usually connected to each other in stage, hence the name. He was elected an IEEE Fellow in 1976 and held an adjunct position at the Polytechnic University of New York at the Westchester campus from 1980 to 1999. Here, some of his publications. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about of his most significant work, the corner map. Uh, let's start. The corner map makes it easy to minimize Boolean expression, and the corner map reduces the need for extensive calculations by taking advantage of humans' pattern recognition capability. It also permits the rapid identification and elimination of potential race conditions. The required Boolean results are transferred from a truth table onto a two-dimensional grid where, in corner maps, the cells are ordered in gray code, and each cell position represents one combination of input conditions, while each cell value represents the corresponding output value. Optimal groups of 1s or zeros are identified, which represent the terms of a canential form of the logic in the original truth table. These terms can be used to write a minimal Boolean expression represent, representing the required logic, uh, as you can see at this picture. Corner maps are used to simplify real-world logic requirements so that they can be implemented using a minimum number of physical logic gates. A sum of products expression can always be implemented using AND gates feeding into an OR gate, and a product of sums expressions leads to OR gates feeding an AND gate. Corner maps can also be used to simplify logic expressions in software design. Boolean conditions, as used for example in conditional statements, can get very complicated, which makes the code difficult to read and, uh, and to maintain. Uh, once minimized, canential sum of products and product of sums expressions can be can be implemented directly using AND and OR logic operators. Diagrammatic and mechanical methods for minimizing simple logic expressions have existed since at least the medieval times. More semantic methods for minimizing complex expressions began to be developed in the early 1950s, but until the mid to late 1980s, the corner map was the most common use in practice. Uh, so that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for listening.